Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is going to be my first time listening, viewing this track live. I'm very excited about it. I like the track a lot. It came out with just a quick bang, and we were rocking and rolling. I loved it. 2001, it seems like not that long ago and really long ago at the same time. In 2001, I believe I was touring with Guns N' Roses, I think. So a little bit different than Nightwish, <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, I don't know, who cares? Let's jump into this track and see what it's like live. Wish Master! So this part here, doesn't this remind you guys of the track Sleeping Sun? It's like the same build up. Uh, let me know if you guys hear that too, but I do. It's easy to say, it's like, well, same band, man. But no, th this sounds to me the same. Uh, also, we had that nice little intro there. I thought that complimented the song. I like it when things come out with a bang, but being that some of the audience, if not all the audience, knew the track already, although the track was recent at this time, uh, they kind of introduced it like, you guys ready? <laughs> and I love that. Oh, you won't 
I don't know, is it too early on in my large segment of tracks of this song to have something that good? <laughs> I don't know. I, I wonder if all the rest of these versions are going to even come close to as good as that. Also, I like to do the Taria verse Flora. I like them both very, very much. Sometimes Annette surprises me, and she's okay too. Uh, but I don't know, man. This might be a Taria track. She just crushes it so, so well. Did you see there was one fist pump? I make mention of it because when I listen to the audio version just now, that's kind of I'm like, I hear fist pumps. And so we got one in there. And it was cool to see the drums going. I mean, awesome guitar solo stuff. Of course, live, it gave the song more life and s some more energy, too. I just, oh, I could totally sink my teeth into it. Confetti cannons. I'm hoping it's on every one of these tracks. I love confetti <laughs> and uh, cannons. I don't know, not as a stagehand. You got to clean it all up. I don't think we had any on Guns N' Roses, tell you that. Well, maybe we did. It's been a long time. But uh, we had a bit of pyro. I mean, this was super, super, super cool. So let's jump into the next one. I hope I, I don't know if I can do all of these in one day here. I pulled up a lot, but right now I feel the energy like I, I can. I absolutely can. Because to me, this is one of Nightwish's best tracks. I want to play this for guests and stuff. I love this. This is super, super good. You know, how can a band continue to evolve in your head to where you like them more and more when you like them so much already? And I was nervous jumping into the next track because I like Ghost Love Score so very much. I'm like, did I already climb to the top of the ladder? But no, you know, the songs are a bit different and stuff. And so it's not the case. It's just a killer band. Guys, I'm blabbing on. Let's jump into the next one. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you on that one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.